Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, wasn't intending on doing a video, but uh, did some stuff to the bike tonight and wanted to share it because really excited with how it turns out. Um, thank you everyone for kind of sticking around for all the bike videos. It's just kind of been the thing I've been working on lately because I've been really wanting to ride it more. Um, but I do have a Forerunner video coming up. I've been working on it uh, the last couple days, uh, taking notes. So uh, I'm gonna shoot for this weekend. I'll try to get something up, but I think it's one everybody will like. Um, so let's take a look at the bike. I wanna show you some of the things I just did and uh, basically what it cost because it was really cheap and it really changed this bike. I just took it for a quick spin and it was uh, much nicer. So let's go take a look. All right, so I don't know if everybody's gonna notice this, but uh, new handlebars. So I'll throw a picture up of the old handlebars here. Um, had the old stock set up, pretty basic, and I didn't like the way it sat, and there were a few things I wanted to change. So, new stem, uh, new handlebar, and then I changed out the spacers to carbon fiber just because I could. Um, Use my same GoPro bracket, we'll show that in a second. New silicone grips. Um, and then, one of the things I was really excited for, kind of sparked this whole thing, was a quick shifter. Sort of focus on there. Come on. Uh, so to give a quick rundown off the top of my head of what costs were, if this bike doesn't fall because of the wind, um, the handlebar was amazingly cheap and I'm going to link everything uh, below. It was all Amazon stuff. The handlebars worked out to be about nine bucks. Nine bucks, <laughs> literally $9. Um, I wasn't gonna go with red. I just wanted plain black, but the red ones were so cheap that I was like, you know what? Let's do it and I actually like it because the wheels are red. Uh, so nine bucks for the handlebar. The stem was about five bucks. Uh, the shifter was 20, but it was well worth it. Um, Ginger wants to say hi. And then the grips, if I recall, were about four bucks. So we're 20 bucks into everything, plus another 20 for the shifter. That's $40 upgrade that really changed the way this bike, uh, one, rides, and two, looks. It's, it handles better and it looks way better. Uh, just to cover some of the things I've already had. So, thumb lever for the dropper post. Seat goes up and down, which is a new thing to me. I never knew about that, but the lever goes up. Hit it again while you're sitting on it, it goes down. And this GoPro mount. I bought this piece, I don't know, a month ago. It was about 20 bucks, it wasn't cheap. But then I mounted my snap mount to it because when I want to take the GoPro, my GoPro, I can literally just snap it on there and then it comes off and snaps back onto the tripod um, so anyways just a quick uh, couple minute video showing some of the things we just did because I'm excited about it and the only thing I don't have back on there is the light but I can throw it back, throw it back on real quick I might try to go at least ride around the neighborhood tonight but just wanted to show that because I'm excited about it it came out nice I'm so happy with how this turned out and uh, I can tell you, I mean, I'm mechanically inclined, but I've never really worked on bikes. And the trickiest thing was adjusting the shifter. And even that, I watched a couple of videos before doing it, it was a piece of cake. This all took me less than an hour uh, to get set up. So um, again, thank you everyone um, for sticking around for the bike videos. Like I said, I'll get that 400 video up soon. Uh, I just got to shoot some things, but uh, we'll get it on there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this thing out for a ride, so. Yeah, and I'm pretty excited about that. All right, thanks everyone. Mm -hmm. 